Rolling this back, this shit is a wrap. Pass me a cup, roll up a sack. Get me a bag, can never be whack. My team is on track. Don't need the bread, but we so hot, 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 hot. But we so hot, 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 hot. No hole in the stack, this shit is a wrap. Pass me a cup, roll up a sack. Get me a bag, can never be whack. My team is on track. Don't need the bread, but we so hot, 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 hot. What's going on, y'all? Cutty from Cutty TV. Y'all know my voice. I'm sitting down with Swerve, the CEO, the big boss. What's going on, baby? What's good with you, man? How you doing, bro? How you doing? I'm just trying to keep up with you. You got a lot going on. So, uh, I don't even think we should waste any time with, because uh, I think the people are about to find out. Um, let's talk about your music first. So, the main thing that brought me towards you is you got a track with Gilly. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and and you got a visual with them, so oh, yeah, uh, yeah. let's talk a little bit about that because yeah. I feel like that's gonna get the people what they need to know about right. Swerve. First and foremost, shout out to my guy Gilly. You know, what I mean, King of Philly. Shout out to my guy, man. Uh, Gilly, a good dude, man. We met a long time ago. Uh, be honest with you, met I met Gilly in the VIP. Okay. We linked up just like that, man. I mean, no strings attached. I had the cameras rolling. Gilly popped up over there, put his arm around me, and. Just he went to work, man, and uh, like I said, we just kept we kept our relationship, man. Me and Gilly been friends for about ten years now, and uh, we we just did a record, man. It's just like, man, hey Gil, what you doing, man? I'm trying to come in the city, pull up. Right. <laughs> it's just that easy, you know what I mean? Like uh, he always gave me a red carpet in Philly, man, uh, and I always made sure when I come to Philly, I show love, you know, in return, like. I had to have one with the king of Philly, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Gilly, Gilly, top of the food chain. When you met, If you don't mention Gilly when you mention Philly, man, something wrong, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Something wrong with you. So I had to have one with the king. Like I say, he blessed me. He blessed me with the verse. Uh, blessed me with a lot of knowledge, man. Like just outside of the rap, man. Just giving me knowledge on how to how to make it, man. You know right. what I'm saying? It's bigger. Because he always tell me, man, it's bigger than rap. You know right. what I mean? It's bigger than rap. So... Gilly, my guy, man. Just to uh, pause for a second, make sure y'all go check out Million Dollars Worth of Game, Gilly and Wallow, podcast everywhere, available everywhere. Make sure y'all check that joint out. Definitely fuck, fucks with Gilly. Yeah. But um, he's not your only notable name that people may recognize from Philly. So uh, give us a little bit of taste on who else that you got working with that the people may not know. Well, um, I got records with Milio Sparks from Philly. Uh... Uh, Cheek Raw, Poop Papers, uh, Reed Dollars, Enes. Uh, Shout out I to Enes. Keep, I, I, I keep going, man. Um, I mean, free the guys though, man. For real, I gotta get, I gotta get that off me, man. Free the guys, free Dark Low, free ARN. I got records with those guys too. Uh, actually, I'm gonna be putting that on um, that feature I got with ARN out on my project, man. It's been sitting too long, you know what I mean? I, it's only right. You know? How was uh, how was the creation of the song with with Ab? Like, how was it inside of the studio? Maybe just give us a little bit uh, in detail about how that went. It was. I mean, like I said, Ab pretty cool, bro. Ab, again, Ab clicked to me, man. Just just like that, man. I mean, the vibe was crazy. I mean, I'm gonna tell you how Ab told me. Swear, what you want to do? <laughs> this is as simple as that. What you want to do? All right. So I said, I want to go hard. I want to try to go hard. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we did a record. Then I booked him, you know, to come down in my city. I brought him down in my city. You know, brought him in the areas where I'm right. actually making moves at. Show, you know, show the people that I'm really doing it on, right. on the ground level as well. And then we had a show that night. He brought the whole Goonie gang out, man. And we turned Salisbury out, man. Right. Salisbury, Maryland, man. I see you yeah. definitely have a deep relationship with the... Um, OBH gang. I see you oh, work yeah. with Razor a lot. Oh, so, yeah. Razor, um, my guy, too, man. Um, I got features with Razor, too. Uh, shout out to Razor. Shout out to uh, Pretty Flock. All my guys, man. Uh, it's imperative that I keep that bond, though, because, like I said, when uh, those guys provided me with uh, extra protection, like I said, when I come out here, man, when I came to Philly, man, I could almost do what I want, like I've lived here forever. You know what I mean? When Abner was out here, nobody went to touch her. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody wanted to like network with me. I mean, Ab called me king. He ain't called me bro. What's up, swear? He called me king. You right. know what I'm saying? Like the respect was there, man. And, and in return, I'm gonna always make sure OBA stay alive too. You right. know what I'm saying? No matter what. As you should. You know what I mean? 